very excited to have with me today is Mateo. Hey, Mateo. Hello. How are you today? Good, how are you? We're good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm so happy that you're on the show because I thought it would be kind of cool to to see what our Edmonton athletes were up to and how you all were staying like in shape and staying active at home. Um, but do you want to tell everyone a little bit about your soccer journey, who you play for, who you did play for? Well, it started when I was around four years old, I think. And I, um, I started playing with uh, Sting for a few years now, but then I moved over to Scottish and right now I play for Scottish Tier 1. My coach, my head coach's name is Billy Sloan. And yeah, I'm doing pretty good. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, so what are we going to be working on with you today? What have what are you do what do you do at home to uh, keep your soccer skills sharp? Um right now I run on my treadmill 45 minutes a day. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. 45 minutes a day? I don't run 45 minutes straight. I split it up into 15s. Oh, okay. But still, that's actually pretty awesome. Awesome. Um, okay, okay, I'm excited to have you on. So why don't we get started? I think we're going to do a warm-up. Yep. Okay, and then what else are we going to be working on? Uh, just some ball mastery skills just to help you stay okay. sharp. Okay, let's do it. Let's get into our warm-up. So for starting for the warm up, we're gonna hit the ball just back and forth. And you wanna keep your head straight up as much as you can. Okay. Cool. If you mess up, just get the ball and keep going. pace so did you did you always were you always able to look up uh no it took me some practice just kept practicing the same movement and then eventually you just felt like it was was comfortable to move up or look up eventually once you awesome. do it enough you can go at your own pace you can go slow even and just practice looking up more it's just a yeah. slow process of eventually going faster and looking at more. That's awesome. Okay, cool. What's the next one? Uh, the next one I was thinking of, so you keep the ball right here and okay. put your own pace. You just go continuous step overs over the ball without touching it. If you touch it, just bring it back and then keep going. You go at your own pace, doesn't matter how fast you go. And if you can, keep your head up. Oh, it's in. Awesome. Okay, Mateo, for those that don't know what a step over is used for, can you explain? So, if you have a defender in front of you, in some cases you can maybe fake like fake left, step over and push it with your right to go around him. Or 
maybe you could use it as a way to think. Hmm. Maybe you could just use it as a fake amount. Sometimes you can do a double scissor. Yeah. You don't know where you're going and touch yeah. it. Yeah. So you can do either. Yeah. Right? Like, so the first one, this first one, you make them think that you're going this way. Yeah. And then you touch the ball away, right? Or you can fake them twice and then go. Well, that's a good one. That's a good one. Cool. All yeah, right, go on to the next one. Uh, the next one, if you don't know the uh, V, but for this one, we're gonna go instead of inside, we're gonna go outside the foot. So you wanna hit it in like a V formation. Okay. So, okay. Pulling back with, you're pushing forward. So, yeah, you're pulling it back to your one foot, pushing it to the outside, grabbing it with the other foot, and then pushing it to the outside again. Uh, okay. Got it. Oh, no, I don't have it. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to watch you. I'm going to pull outside, pull. Pull outside, pull outside. Okay. Pull outside, pull outside. Are they supposed to be? Is the ball supposed to go really far away from you? Um, it depends on how long your legs are. Um, I mean, if you can keep it close to you, but if you have longer legs. The ball's gonna go farther than where I put it. Oh, it should sure. be far away from you. Yeah, this one, this one's hard for me, and I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm just gonna watch you for a bit. Good job. And I don't know what I'm doing, what I what I'm doing wrong. Here. I'm gonna do it a little bit. So pulling it. Yeah, let me see I'm pulling it and I'm pushing it out. Yeah. Pulling, push. Yeah. Right. Pulling, push. Maybe I'm just too flat. There you go. If you're having trouble reaching it after you push it out, just try getting it a bit closer. Don't a little a bit more what? I should try getting a bit more. Oh, I missed what you said. Oh, uh, you should try uh, putting the ball out less so you can grab it easier. Okay. So push it out less. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this for another five seconds because I think I can do better. But, okay. Yeah, there you go. Ah, I'm going to blame the floor. It glides, you know? The ball just glides quicker. Yeah. That was awesome. Um, hey, Mateo, I wanted to ask you, yeah. what's, the, what's the biggest thing you're missing right now from soccer and uh, seeing your teammates? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, definitely. I'm missing playing the competitive games. Uh, definitely missing my friends for sure. I haven't seen them yeah. in two months at least. But yeah. uh, 
it's easy to keep in contact with them because we all have some type of electronic. Maybe yeah. it's a console, maybe it's a phone. Like during this time, you should always try and connect with people around you. That you yeah. Like, that you know, you just want to keep it. You want to keep a good friendship status even through. Yeah, this. for sure. Absolutely. So you guys are still talking. Are you guys doing any like team challenges or are you guys like doing um, anything online? Right now for our team challenge, we're trying to juggle a piece of toilet paper. Like a oh, paper. yeah. And our challenge, uh, I think we're trying to get to 25, which is pretty difficult, but we'll see how that goes. Awesome. Um, how many times could you, you juggle? Uh, with the ball or with the... Yeah, with the ball. I don't think that much. I'm not very great at dribbling. <laughs> I don't know if you missed it, but I'm bragging about um, Jamie, Jamie Erickson. She's the Grant McEwen former team captain. Yeah. Um, and she was telling us last week that she juggles 986 was her highest. Yeah, no, I don't think I could ever do that. I was like, I don't know if I can count that high, you know? <laughs> that was awesome. Um, okay, sorry. I what, What's next? What's next? Uh, next, uh, it's called the Matthews, where okay. you have to take two small touches in front of you and then step over with your opposite foot. Okay. Okay. You don't have to do so fast. And then step over. So that, that, step over. You just have to keep two close touches towards you, like two close ones, and then just step over to the foot that you didn't touch with. Okay. Right. Yeah. Forward there. Bring it back. Okay. step over with? Pardon? What foot do you usually step over with? Uh, probably I, like, if I'm in a game, I'll probably step over with my left foot so I can push it towards my right side because I... Oh, okay. Okay. I touch it with my right, fake with my left, outside of the right. Good. Push. Out. And then go. Go, go, go. Cool. Let's do a few more. Okay. There you go. Now left foot. Let's go. Nice. If it's a bit too easy for you, you can go faster. Okay. So I know that there's two different kinds of step overs. There's like the ones that we're doing right now where we're going from like inside outside. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Right? Do you, you sometimes use the other one? Which one? Pardon? Which one are you talking about? Like going from outside inside? Oh, yeah. Um, I only use that when I'm on like a really tight one-on-one. -on -one. If I have no room to go on the outside, then I'll just do that to throw them off. And then I might whip my foot around really quick and just push back and maybe dish it off to one of my defenders. Cool. That one's cool. Awesome. Okay. That was that the last one? Uh, no, I have one more. Okay, okay, cool. It might be a bit more difficult, but what you want to do, uh, you don't really have to go forward if this is new to you, but you want to stop with your right and then turn with your left. Oh, we're going to get fancy. So right, stop it with your right, turn with your left, or you can stop with your left and turn it with your right. I'm not afraid with that one yet. <laughs> yeah, that one's hard on that side. Okay, so I'm stopping with my right. I'm, do I push it? 
Uh, Stop. Turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want to go forward? Stop it. Turn. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Cool. Forward, stop, pull. So, so, oh, I, I got out of the screen. Okay. Forward, stop, pull. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you use this move for? Pardon? What do you use this move for? Uh, if I'm usually backed up into the defense and I have like no room to go back, sometimes. Yeah. If I have an open on my right or left side, depending on which way you're facing, you can take it, and sometimes you can get lucky and turn like that. Or if you're coming out oh, okay. and you see like a big line of defenders there, you can just go forward, realize that you can't go past them. Sometimes yeah. you can go backwards like that, and you pass back to the three. I'm, so it's another fake, another defender fake. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few more. Okay. Should we do this for 20 seconds? Uh, sure. Okay, let's do this. Let's go. Yeah, so let's So, I'm doing one more. One last good one for me. Okay, one last one for my left side. Okay. You always have to practice both sides, right? Yep. Okay, so, push, stop. Yep. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, I know. The left side's a bit more difficult if you're not used to it. Stop. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, Mateo, why don't we why don't we start from the beginning? Yeah. And let's do all of those like we'll do them again. We'll repeat them and we'll do a whole nother set. Um, because I think we can do that in a few minutes and then that way it can help everyone kind of remember the drill, practice a little bit more, and then they can go outside and do it by themselves. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so back with our warm up. It's not difficult, but it is important to help you stay sharp. Uh, you want to just stay back and forth, go at your own pace, and try to keep your head up. Head up. Awesome. Okay, so you want to move on to the next one? Yeah. Okay. Then the next one is uh, instead of doing the inside view, which is I think more common, but uh, uh, we're going to do where you pull it 
push it with the outside, grab with your other foot, push it to the outside. So it's outside V. So you want to take it with your opposite foot, and grab it with your opposite. Go at your own pace. Again, try to keep your head up. I'm trying to get this like perfect. I think it's going to need a lot more practice. Oh yeah, definitely. This one takes some time. I'm blaming you. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Dang, I'm going to finish it on that good one. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Next one is the Matthews, where you touch it, yeah. step over. So you have to take two close touches, and then a step over with the opposite foot that you touched with. Okay. Wait, what do you call these, Mateo? Uh, I call these the Matthews. The Matthews? Yeah. Oh, who's Matthew? Uh, I don't know. It's just <laughs> something that I um, have. Oh, the, you just always like learned and knew that this was called the Matthews? Oh, that's awesome. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was an old soccer player who invented it. Maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. Yes. How I learned it. Bye. Awesome. <laughs> I just love, oh, good job. I love, I wanted to add something because I think the step overs are a super awesome move to do in soccer yeah. because you can, you can fix so many people out with them. But so we wanted to add, this is one thing that you can do at home um, that helps with step overs. And it just kind of goes off of your, the Matthews, yeah. which is letting the ball kind of like roll in front of you. And as it's moving, you're doing your step overs. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So as many as you can as the ball's moving. Um, so let's see if you can see it in my frame. So I'll push the ball forward. Oh. I don't know if you caught it, you know? So this is for anyone at home as well. So you can practice your step overs and you can practice your left side and your right side. Cause I think it's important that you be able to do both. Um, so just let the ball roll, and as it's rolling, uh, I wish I could get in the frame here, you know? As it's rolling, you're doing as many step overs as you can. Right? So that's a good one to practice. Yeah. And that way you can time, that way when kids are learning how to do step overs, they can time the ball and their feet better. Because yeah. a lot of this move requires good timing. You know, so that was awesome. Yeah. You got me sweaty, which was good. Um, uh, do you have, is there one more? No. Oh, yeah, okay. So this one, you want to, depending on which foot you prefer, if you're left-footed, go up, stop with yeah. your left, and then turn with your right. I'm not exactly sure how to do that one yet. <laughs> that was a bit more difficult for me because I'm not left-footed. But if you're right-footed, go forward, stop with your right, turn with your left. Okay. You do that as fast as you can. I'm going to try and do the left one if I can. I'll probably figure it out, maybe. That. Uh, yes, okay. I'm not sure, though. 
but I mean, it takes practice. I'm trying to figure out my left foot. Oh man, the left. Okay. We're, did you do left ones? I tried. You tried? Okay, I'm going to do two good left ones. You want to do two good left ones with me? Uh, I don't know if I can do them good, but I will try. Let's try, let's try, let's try. Because I've been trying to figure it out. So let's go. Two good left ones. This. Messes me up yeah. because I'm so used to turning to the right side. Yeah. But you gotta turn this way. Step, step. Awesome. 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 Yes. You did it. I can't do it. <laughs> one more, one more. End it on a good one. It's the turn, getting it to go on the left side. Uh, yeah, no, I can't do that one yet. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. We all got to practice our left foot or right foot is your finger on. That was awesome. Thank you, Mateo, so much for like working through that with us. That was so fun. Thank you for having me. Of course, um, Mateo. So. What are you up to now? What? Are, how's school going? Is everything good? Um, school, it's going good, obviously. I'm not a huge fan, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, everything's going good. You know, I can kind of relax now. It's yeah. Like, quarantine's almost like a big vacation for me. <laughs> wow. You're just working at home and... Throwing some workout in there, throwing some school in there. It's meant. I like it. And it's getting sunny outside, so you can go actually juggle the ball outside and, yeah. you know, do your ball stuff outside. Yeah. That was awesome. Thank you so, so much. I hope everyone had fun. Um, please practice your left and right foot skills. If you want to show us your moves at home and what you guys are doing to stay active at home and keep your soccer skills or basketball skills sharp, Please send us a message, send us your videos on Facebook, and we'd love to see them. Um, thank you, Mateo, so much for joining in. It was fun to be with here with you. Hopefully, we can have you back, see how that left foot... What is that last move called? Uh, just a spin move. Okay, spin move. So we got to work on our left spin moves. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Okay, thank you so much. I hope everyone has a wonderful Tuesday, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Stay safe. Don't go near anybody. <laughs>